Alright yo, so what's going on everybody? Today we playing the Cricket Man, y'all feel me? It's that video game based off that nursery rhyme, the Cricket Man. Y'all know what I'm saying, everybody? So today we playing this. It's a horror game, guys. Uh, I appreciate y'all figured that from looking at the screen, though, because that guy in the left, that guy on the left doesn't look like he's doing too well. I'm not even gonna lie, he really looks a little, he looks a little hurt. It's alright, though, you know what I'm saying? So today we're gonna start this game, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be part one for y'all today. <clears throat> I don't know. Um, wasn't there like a movie? I'm pretty sure there was a movie called The Cricket Man that came out like uh, a little bit ago. And uh, I think that movie was like, I, I didn't watch it, but maybe I should since I'm playing this game. I feel like maybe I should because I'm playing the game. So maybe I'll, I'll end up watching that eventually. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, let's get into it. Y'all know what I'm saying? All right. So this is a horror game. It contains scares and grotesque content. So refrain from playing it if you feel you can't handle it. Look, bro. I think I can handle this, bro. It's the first horror game I'm going to be playing by myself on the channel like ever. But I think I think I can handle this, guys, because it don't look like this too much. You know what I'm saying? Please adhere to the following rules to prevent trouble. If the rules, if these rules conflict with the rules of the author's site, the rules sites take priority. So please check. No repurposing resources, no redistribution of game. Oh, oh well, why is it? What is this? All these rules and stuff. Do not cut the end credits uh, from videos of the game. Oh, oh, that's actually a rule I need to look at. Do not cut the end credits from the videos of the game. Okay, so when I finish the game, I got to post the end credits with it. Okay, so I guess I'll just talk about how I felt about the game during the end credits or something. But that's a weird rule to have. That's actually interesting. I'm confused as to why they're making me do that. But okay, go off, I guess. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat. Crooked. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a crooked little house. Oh, that's a nice little nursery rhyme. Y'all know what I'm saying, bruh? That sounds that sounds really nice. I sing that to my kids, y'all feel me? Oh, this game's like uh I don't even know what bit this is, but this game real RPG maker-ish. That's all I'm saying. Alright, finally things look tidy in here. That should be that. Is there anything else we can help with, David? Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I hope you pay back sometime. Ooh, nice. The three of us could go out drinking. I'll look forward to it. <clears throat> well, it's late. We better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. All right, so these guys just helped me move into my new place. You know what I'm saying? I'm guessing my name is like David or something. That's pretty cool. Um, this is the homie David right here. Uh, blue eyes, brown hair, uh, black jacket. Glasses, jacket, shirt. Call me glass jack and shirt man. Ooh. Ooh, call him that. Alright, alright, cool. It's my bed. It's a nice bed. Oh, I can just walk into it? That's funny. <laughs> Let me check my drawer. This is a phone, not a drawer. It's a box of tissues. I guess I just can't check the drawers. It's an empty trash can. Nothing in it. Facts. Huh? Sheesh, Paul forgot his license. I should get it to him if he's still around. Okay, so now I got Paul's license. Uh, well, I guess he should definitely get that. Uh, I should definitely go give that to Paul because, uh, yeah, yeah, he if, he, if he gets pulled over, it's raps for him. That's all I'm saying. What's with that place? Seriously, it's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move for a change of pace, and that will not help him. You hear? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know, and not many places come with furniture. Besides, you told me to look for the place, right? Don't come complaining to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help that David out. I know. Look, I should be sorry. We'll pay him a visit sometime. What is that? Two voices of people I don't know? Nah, that was probably homies. That was probably the homies that just left arguing about giving me this dirty place. I don't think the place looked that bad, bruh. I mean, it's just like a one-room place, though. It's like a one-room place. Okay, that phone is annoying. Stop. That's got to stop. That's got to stop right now. That's annoying. But it's just like a one-room house. Ain't nothing wrong with it. There's a little crack in the back wall. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's doable. I could live here. You know what I'm saying? The bed is right by the front door, but it's not that bad of a house. That's all I'm saying, guys. Like, the house vibing. The house definitely vibing. Uh, but, yeah, I guess we're going to give him that license later. And this phone is annoying. Let's figure out why it's, uh, why it's ringing. Hello? Hello? Who is this? 
Shirley? I don't know no Shirley. What happened? I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first day in the new place. Yeah, I'm agreeing at this point because that was a weird phone call. Somebody named Shirley just called me and uh, didn't really have much to say. And that's okay. Maybe Shirley's my mistress. Y'all feel me? Let's just go to bed, bro. Man, I'm tired in all sorts of ways. Yeah, I feel that, bro. I feel that. It's time for a good night's rest. Is somebody crying? Yeah, somebody is definitely crying. I can't sleep through this. Is it one of the neighbors? I should go ask. Alright, let's go and see who's doing all that crying. There's people to the side. Oh, oh, so this is this is all my place. Oh, I didn't even know these were other rooms. That's really funny, actually. Um, okay, so this is the bathroom then. That's that's cool, I guess. And what's this? Computer room? That's vibing too. I got a nice little old computer, but the chair is not in front of it. That's weird. Okay. Let's go see who's crying. Is it you? It's not you. Is it you? I guess not. You? I have no idea where this crying is coming from. What about this guy? Yes, who is it at this hour? Pardon me. I can hear you from my room, even. Um, I may, it's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Huh? What were you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. You were trying to start something? You're the guy who moved into 204, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing, honestly. I, I don't know how you would have heard somebody crying from all the way down the hall, bro. Uh, yeah. Sorry for waking you. Bye now. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, that was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Whatever. I better get back to sleep. I agree. Things are getting a little bit weird around here, guys. Is somebody in my bathroom? Oh, dear. Don't want to go? Yes. Is the faucet busted? Hey, there's something wrong with the sink, bro. We just got this place. I gotta call the landlord. Under the bed. Alright, so we just go check under the bed. Uh, is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about in bad taste. Yeah, let's go check under the bed, y'all feel me? Let's go see what's happening with that. I guess not. Under the bed, huh? What's down here? Uh, good question. Oh. Found a scrap from a notebook. What does it say? Ever since she went away, I spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. And wreathing. Writhing? Uh, he's clutching his sweaty pillow and writhing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? Oh, whatever. I'll get to bed. Bro, just go to sleep already, dude. Like, he's he's paranoid. David's paranoid. He heard something, he's paranoid. You need to get some rest, bro. You're doing too much. That sound still. Where is that coming from? Give me a break. I need to sleep. Oh my god, that annoying ass phone. That's gotta stop right now. No more of that. No more of that. No. That's worse than an alarm clock, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all. That's really, that's really bad. Uh, yeah. Thanks for all the... No, no, I didn't mean... I just, I'm busy with work, so... Yes, I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Okay, bye. Man, I slept until the noon. I better go. So much for taking it easy. Yeah, no cap. Uh, what's this crack in the wall anyways? Yeah, somebody's gonna have to put some spackle over that for sure before this is a real nice place. Need some spackle. Well, let's go head over to whatever place. Oh, shit! Oh, oh, oh. Paul, what is it? Yeah, uh, I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh, yeah, this. Sorry, I was gonna bring it to you, but... Ooh, thanks. So, you going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. 
Take care of yourself, buddy. Oh, yeah, Paul. Did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? Right on the mirror? What kind of prankster kid do you take me for, David? S sorry. I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. It's the hospital? It's definitely the hospital. What is making that noise? Ew. I know you're there. Who is talking to me? That's weird. Ew. This is ridiculous. Yeah, it's everybody from the other rooms. Well, what's going on in here? Wow, that person looks down bad. Mom, it's been a while. Are you doing okay? Oh my, if it isn't little Timmy, you've certainly grown. Little Timmy? Good, you look healthy. Sorry I can't be very much. Uh, sorry I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off and I moved into this great room with furniture and everything. It's near your favorite cake shop too, so when you get better we can live there together. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me. Maybe I can come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Mom, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David. Remember? Oh, yes. That open bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Mom? Oh, who would you be? Why are you here? How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Oh, she doesn't recognize me at all. Who are you? Say something, will you? Mom? Get out! I'll have you thrown out. Somebody, somebody. There's a strange man in my room. Get rid of him now. Oh, my goodness. Ms. Hoover. Ms. Hoover, please don't strain yourself. Please go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me. Away. Now, calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave her today. Understood. Take good care of her. That's tragic. Davy, is that you, Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? Mom! Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here. Davy, please. Mom, it's me, remember? Mom! David, please leave for today. She's very confused right now. But she said my... I said leave. Ms. Hoover, please calm down. Bring the sedatives. That's depressing. My mom's got, uh... Is that, a uh, Was that dementia? Is that dementia? Is that what it is? She forget who I am? Slowly deteriorating. That's upsetting, man. I can't go back in there. Damn, bro. David is definitely down bad, bro. There's just no way. My mom's got dementia... Living in a one-bedroom apartment, a one-room apartment. It's got to be California. It's got to be California we're in right now. Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah, I guess she still doesn't know me. Yes, she's forgotten many things. She's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better, so you can live with her again. Thanks. I hope you can help her. Nope. I suppose I'll just head back to my room then, because that's where they made me go. Let's go check the, uh... I'm tired of that, bro. Who is in my apartment? There's gotta be somebody living in my walls or something. And David just does not ever have to go to the bathroom, I guess. That's okay. Bladder of steel. But something moved in here. Uh, something moved somewhere. That's weird. Oh, it was the chair. I knew it. I knew that chair was in a wrong spot, bro. I knew it was in a wrong spot. The chair is not in the right spot no more. That's weird. The chair moved in my house. We talked about this, yo. It was right here earlier, and it moved. Y'all seen that. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not crazy. We heard it, too. What am I supposed to do? Maybe eat something? No? Stove. Fridge. TV, nothing. Let's check the computer again. A desk. 
Okay, so I had to talk to the desk to figure out about moving the chair. All right, facts. Did I move that chair? No, you didn't. Hmm, there's something in the drawer. You got a leaflet for school. Looks pretty old. These LLM uh, courses are uh, circled. Was somebody shooting uh, to be a lawyer? I guess this must be the former tenants. Make sure he, uh, he sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? I mean, you know, furnished houses are nice, I guess, sometimes. The place I'm living in was furnished. Pretty nice. Uh, Nah, but he's not wrong, though. Moving into a place that's already furnished, like, the, the old tenants really do leave behind a bunch of stuff. Furniture, bro. Oh, my gosh. I was about to say furniture, but what, oh, man? That phone. Like I was saying just a second ago before I talk about this phone call, guys. Yeah, yeah. Old, 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 old people will definitely leave stuff in your apartment if the apartment comes furnished next time. And the people that run the apartment complex will not clean the place properly. I moved into the place I'm in right now and the whole fridge was pretty much still full. And uh, yeah, there was definitely still stuff from the last tenants still in here. It was kind of, it's kind of really lame. Uh, they'll definitely hold you like that. Make sure them places are clean when you move into your apartments. Uh, hello? Hey, David. How are you doing? Huh, you saw me just yesterday. I'm doing fine. Thanks. Good. Good. Call if you're ever lonely. Okay. I can come visit with Paul By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday, but I didn't we didn't really talk but Sorry, I told her your number. She said she was worried about you It's okay. Tell her I don't need her worry. She should just look out for herself. All right. Well, I'll hang up All right. See you. That was weird Paul girl is calling me. Y'all feel me? Paul girl I actually want to come over here without Paul. Is she trying to see? Is she trying to see what David like? <laughs> I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. But what is this? What was he even reading? What is that stuff? This coffee, and uh, I guess those are just books. This is just a fat stack of books. Factual. Old TV. It's time for bed. The TV just turned on by itself. That can't happen again. Why did it turn on by itself? Is it broken? Sink, sink. All right, be facts, be facts. Let's check out the sink. Ooh, this is this is giving me chills, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, see what the hell? This is creepy. I'm sorry, bro. I don't, I don't. This is this is this is giving me chills for real. Uh, let me see. Did I did it say sink? What was that? I gotta go check the sink. I'm just excited to check stuff out because it keeps telling me to do stuff. Uh, there's a scrap of paper under here. A scrap of paper. All right, facts. What does it say? There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence across. I keep saying crooked, bro. When I watched PewDiePie play this years ago, he said crooked, and I'm so weak, bro, because I'm so used to calling it that now. It's crooked, bro. Like, oh gosh, it's so funny, bro. There was a crooked man. <clears throat> and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a crooked little house. See, bro, <laughs> that's so funny, bro. That's so hilarious. This isn't isn't this a uh, Mother Goose's rhyme? Why is there? Why is it under here, under the sink? I guess it's I guess the previous tenant. Okay, there's no way. There's no way the previous tenant is just writing is just writing these strange messages and leaving them to you, bro. The TV would not have told you to go get that message from under the sink. The, the old tenant didn't do that. You got to put more together than that, David. You got to you gotta do better than that, bro. It's time for bed, bro. Go sleep. Moving for a change of pace, huh? Guess that's not working well. So I appreciate Paul and Marion's help, but... Yeah. David's down bad for sure. Is that a kid I hear? It's late at night? And what kid would live in this beat up apartments? I mean, uh, maybe they're lost. I should go check. David, you're just too nosy, bro. If you just stayed in your bed, this whole story would not have to happen. If you just leave it alone, bro, why do you have to do this to yourself? Why are you torturing yourself like this, David? Of course, there's no kids here. Must be getting tired. Oh, fuck. What was that? Come on now, bro. Oh my gosh. My coffee. Yeah. 
Yeah, it was definitely on the desk. Was it help me? Oh, who needs help? The coffee spelling out words. Yes, yes it is, David. This room is really, really strange. With the voices and the TV turning on. What is this? It's a mystery. Well. So he just left the coffee stain on the floor, bro. You weren't going to wipe it up. That's so... That's so grungy, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. That's so that's so dirty of you, David. I'm not even gonna cap. Uh, hi, Paul. It's David. Yeah, what's up? Man, you sound sleepy. Uh, yeah, I was up all night. I gotta ask you something. Is now okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? Nah, I don't know. You asked the landlady? You curious about something? Well, seems like he's forgotten a lot of stuff. But I'll ask the landlady, sure, later. The landlady's on the far end of the first floor. I'll go see what she knows. Okay, let's go check the landlady. Yeah, so he just didn't clean that up. I'm just letting y'all know. He definitely just left that coffee stain there for just anybody to see that now. That's that's cool, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Some paper towels in here somewhere. I know there is, but okay. Let's go see what that landlady is looking like. You know what I'm saying? Maybe she's a baddie. Another crack in the wall that's identical to mine? Just creepy, bro. Hello? Oh, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask you something, you see? About the room I'm in, can you tell me about the person who used to live there? Um, well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago. Said to leave the furniture and use it, however. You wouldn't know where he went? I never heard that, no. Really just up and left out of the blue. Ah, I just can't remember that name. I could rummage through my old documents to find the previous tenants if you'd like. No, no, there's no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks, I'll see you around. Alrighty, sorry I wasn't very useful. Well, I mean, it was kind of useful. It is really weird how that man left, but he was about my age. Okay, um, I can only wonder what he was like. Yeah, me too, me too. Okay, I'll go back to my room. Honestly, he, he should have just let her go look for those documents is all I'm saying is he really should have just let her go look for those documents Because yeah, I would have I would have gone looking for those documents for sure That does not look like it was here before Uh, oh dear Into the crack in the wall. Oh dear that doesn't look like that was here before. Uh, so what's up with this? Why are these tracks on the floor? They lead up to this wall. It's interesting, is it not? Is there something in this crack? A brass key. This key is pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here. So I wonder where. I can only wonder where that key leads. Oh, David's an anime character. All right, big facts. And David, a little, David's kind of saucy, bro. Wait a second. Okay, bro. Nice, nice. Anime David. This guy's voice, these kids' voices, the mirror writing, the TV turning on, the coffee. Uh, it's like a poltergeist or something. But would I have thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing? What's going on here? Not that I'd much care if these were ghosts here. <clears throat> if there were ghosts here. Nobody'd be too bothered. Nobody'd be too bothered if they haunted and killed me either. When I wonder about that scrap of paper, and what was that man who lived here like? Did this stuff happened when he was here. Not much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. It's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of lot of ominous things happening inside this apartment. Is that the TV? Can't be the TV. Now, where is that coming from? Is it from inside the house? It can't be the TV. It's not the phone. This is my computer, probably. It's probably my computer. No. The, the chair moved back. That's weird. That's weird. The chair moved back. Okay. Awkward. Uh, no. It's nothing in here. David's got a bladder of steel. He's, he's yet... He's yet to go to the bathroom, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all. He's just, he's like that. He's like that for sure. Is there a fridge? The stove. I'm not sure where that noise is coming from, honestly. 
Yeah, I couldn't possibly tell y'all where that noise is coming from. I'm just about to go start pressing A in every room everywhere. Oh, it came from inside there. A radio? What? Why is it in my closet? Not to mention turning on by itself. So there's just a regular, just a radio in there. That's cool, I guess. There's something on this paper here. It's an address. Our special place. Where's that supposed to be? Got a paper with an address. Okay. So the horror, the horror game thing to do here is to follow that address and go look for it. And, um, yeah, figure out what, where it's coming from. The sensible thing to do? Go back to my room, go the fuck to sleep. Oh! Oh my goodness! I'm waiting for you! Why did... How? When did it... Yeah, yeah, that's right, David. You just scream and get the hell out of here, bro. Either that or it's time to go to bed. That's all I'm saying. I was finna carry my ass back to bed. The game wasn't having that today, I'm, I'm seeing. So, we're at Paul's house. You sleep well last night? Sorry you had to sleep on the couch. Nah, I should be sorry for coming over so late. Huh, wasn't expecting it, but don't sweat it. Hey, did something happen? You don't look too hot. Oh, um, there's no particular reason. Or maybe I felt like intruding into the newlyweds' <laughs> love nest. Hey, why you? Huh, <laughs> just kidding. Seriously, though, you can tell me anything if, if anything happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. Alright. Hey, <clears throat> I'm glad you know it. I'm glad to know a guy who looks out for his friends. Hey, you making fun of me? Oh, yeah, I heard from Marion. Uh, sorry about the Shirley thing. I told her off for that. Don't worry about it. It's not Marion's fault. Well, it's not about whose fault it is. I'm just happy. I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it go. Don't let it get you down, all right? I know you've got your mother to look after, but I think it's time you move on and look for new people. As if a guy like me could find a date. I'm just some clerk with a mom in the hospital and a girl <laughs> and the girl I wanted to marry ran from me. Man, don't be such a sissy. You can keep up. Uh, you keep up that moping and you'll have your own personal rain cloud. <laughs> I'll be careful. Oh, so I'm going on a little trip. Don't want to waste my vacation, you know? Oh, great idea. Where are you going? Uh, just somewhere I'm wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. Sweet. Send a postcard. Nah, but don't actually. Breakfast is ready, Paul. David, will you be eating too? Nah, I'm not hungry. I'll be going. Oh, that's too bad. Come by any time you like. I'm trying to tell y'all Marion wants to pipe, bro. Marion wants to pipe. I'm telling y'all. She's trying to get that schlong from David. She's not happy with Paul. You can tell. Paul and David are sort of like passive aggressive with each other. Y'all feel me? They're like sort of friends, but sort of not. You know what I'm saying? The way they was talking, it seemed like Paul get irritated with David kind of fast. You know what I'm saying? And David trying to snatch up his female. I know Paul knows something's up. I'm telling y'all, I know Paul knows something's up. Marion be calling me and stuff. You know what I'm saying? She'd be all happy with me. She'd be like, come here whenever you want to, David. You know what I'm saying? And you know, David finna come there whenever he want to. You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> Man, it looks like the address is in the mountains. About five hour drive. Did the former tenant go here? I just want to ask him about his room. Maybe he'll know something. I need to drink something. I'm sorry, guys. I'm dying over here. I'll go right now. I can't stand this place anyway. It's a great idea. It's a great idea, honestly. Let's just head there immediately. That was just the prologue? How much more of this is there? I guess I'm going to save. Uh, I'm going to save to multiple save files because I, I kind of like am paranoid and do that. So, yeah. All right, so this is the address. Uh, geez, it's gotten dark, but this is the place, no doubt. Huge place, looks like a hotel. Will he be here? Guess I'll just have to check. Yeah, no cap. But this place is super duper creepy. Like this looks just looks like a place you shouldn't go. Honestly, this just looks like a place. Like why would you? Why would you want to come here? Like honestly, if I went to the address that I read on that paper and it looked like this, I would just go back. I would just go and move out. I'd just move out. 
Like for real, bro. I would really just move out. He he could not be curious. He could just move out. I'll just I'll leave. I'll really leave. I'm telling you. <laughs> I will really just leave. Hotel Ruhenheim. Hotel Ruenheim. So we're at Hotel Ruenheim right now, guys. Uh is there anything down here? My car? Nothing. Did I walk here? Awkward. Let's go inside Hotel Ruenheim and see what's up. A hotel register. So it's an empty hotel, bro. That's kind of why I'm not down with this right now, for real, yo. This is just an empty hotel. Like, like honestly, for real, dude. A stopped clock in an empty hotel. This place is abandoned. David, you could just go home. Go home, David, please. Staff only. There's wire on the doorknob. What? And what is this? A hotel register. Okay, cool. And what is this? The keyhole is painted over, it won't open. It's locked. The keyhole is painted over, it won't open. The keyhole is painted, yep, 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 yep. They're all locked, yep. Okay. All these, all these doors is locked. All these doors is locked, boys. All these doors is locked. And what is this? Yep, this is a locked door as well. They all locked down here too. Oh, this door wasn't locked. Okay, facts. There's something on the shelf. Treasure hunt. Me. Dear mom, dad. Okay, uh, so this is a treasure hunt. And uh, what are we looking for? I guess some kind of kid staying here drew this. Huh, sure, I'll look for your treasure. Uh, I wonder where that kid's treasure is then. Uh, what does it look like? Uh, I'm kind of trying to see if I can piece something together. It's like a whole bunch of doors. There's like a whole bunch of boxes on it. Yeah, yeah. It's got that's gotta that's gotta have something to do with the treasure. That's all I'm saying. Those boxes, they gotta have something to do with it. This is a bathroom. There's a regular dresser. And it's empty. There's nothing in it. So whoever left that there, weird. Nothing locked. Staff only. It's locked with a passcode. Had to be. Had to be, didn't it? Well, let's go check the upstairs because the downstairs isn't looking too hot. What is this? A mounted deer? And bro, I'm not even gonna lie. That thing looks pretty scary in this uh in this art style. A room with a bunch of tables in it, big facts. Um That's cool, I guess. A room with some more tables in it and a piano. I play the piano, guys. Actually, I don't. My friend Brent does. <clears throat> Nothing else in here, I guess. Um, fireplace. That's cool. Uh, wait, it's completely what? It's completely dark out. Uh, I was just talking about the window. That's cool. More doors. Oh, the library's on this hall. That's what's up. And this is some regular room, I guess. A scrap notebook piece of paper. What does this say? It was our special place. She loved the pretty room with this big mirror. She would wonder, uh, she would wonder what to wear for dinner. But now it's just me. I thought it might help to come here, but I, but it didn't. There's only emptiness. The rule on this page, it matches the one from my room. So the former tenant did come here. I wonder if he's still here. So, he got dumped, huh? The note at home did mention that. Our special place. He came here with her? Where could he be? I'm sorry, every time there's like a sudden noise in this game, it kind of like really startles me. So yeah, that that that's gonna, that's gonna get on my nerves eventually. I just know it is. Um, well, the former tenant was in this room, I'm guessing, because, yeah, um, that's his handwriting and that's his note. And that mirror just cracked and my whole body just froze. Oh. Oh, stop it, please. Oh, stop it, please. The mirror just cracked. I need to leave. It's time to go, bro. I'm sorry. This is the library, I'm guessing. The door is locked and there's a notice on it. Due to the employee incompetence and lost keys, the library is temporarily closed. We apologize for the inconvenience. Okay, so I'm kind of like piecing together some things I might need to find while I'm in here. Um, um, That library key being one of them. Definitely need that library key. Get myself into that library, y'all feel me? 
and there's a keyhole painted over this one yep, yep the keyhole is painted over yep 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 keyhole locked this room is also locked okay everything is locked in here that's that's okay i guess nowhere else i can go then did i just leave i'll look around here a little more dude it's locked everything is locked as hell like like, there's really not much I can do. Let's go back to the ballroom. Mounted deer. Scary ass deer. Is this a ballroom or is this like a... This isn't a ballroom. This is a... I forgot what this type of room is called. Come on, man. Come on, come on, come on. Is it a banquet room? It's like where a banquet is held. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's sitting at the tables eating fancy food and stuff with their monocles and top hats. Yeah. Yeah, that kind of room. Uh, just thought about coming somewhere for dinner. What about dinner? What happened during dinner time? There's something under the table. Ooh, I'm getting good at this. Yo, I read the note again and it's, oh my gosh. I picked up clues. I found a gold key. Yes, sir. All right, there's a piece of paper beside it. You found the treasure, congrats. Oh. That makes sense. I knew that that um that that little girl's painting, that little girl's drawing had something to do with this place. The boxes that were on her drawing, she was talking about the table in the back and there was a there was something under it and this is where it was. So that was the little girl's thing. I can go back to her room now maybe. I can go back to that room now and probably use something cuz I found the gold key. Either that or maybe the gold key is for the library. I'm not sure. Let's go down and check out this place first cuz I found her treasure. That's cool. Nice. Looks like the bathroom. Um, well, I have a gold key. We could use that on something. I'm not sure what yet, but we could use that on something for sure. Maybe here. Okay, so the gold key opened the library. That's cool. And what's this? It's another key. It's the key to 108. Um, what's in 108? Owner's collection of books. Please read what? Uh, please read at your leisure. All right, facts. Cry of the unseen. Did you do you consider yourself kind? You don't get to decide that. It's decided in the unconscious. Even if you believe that you're cold, that you are cold-hearted, you may be warm and emotional inside, and they will sniff it out. They will be lured to your unconscious kindness, and they will drag you away. It's a kind of a cold book. I bet Paul would have. Uh, I bet Paul would love this. He's way too into stuff for his age. He's way too into that stuff. I hear it. I know somebody else hears that. He's sprinting. Whoever that is is sprinting, yo. Oh my gosh. Where am I? Is this is this 108? This, yeah, 108. This is room 108 right here. I unlocked the door. Cool. I can go in here. What's on the top of here? Is it a note? How do I get up there? Can I move a chair? I can move chairs in this game? What? I got some wire cutters. Okay, facts. Looks like the bathroom shelves are empty. Okay, so I can't always move chairs. That was just like a, a one-time thing. I was about to say. I'll be damned. I'll be damned. I'll be damned, yo. Who is playing that piano? It's gotta be the guy that was sprinting. It's gotta be the guy that was sprinting. The piano room right here. Oh shit! Oh, he scared the mess out of me. Oh, he scared me. Oh, he scared me too much. Oh, oh. Okay, look, 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 look. I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. I'm not I'm not I'm not scared. I'm not scared. It's cool. It's cool. I'm terrified, but I'm not scared. It's okay. They're the same thing. Let me see. Uh, who is this random lady in here playing the piano? I'm sorry, I just came in and the piano looked nice, so I am um, sorry, I, I yelled at you, but I'm not staff for the hotel or anything. Who are you then? I'm David. I'm sort of looking for a guy. What about you? I'm sissy. 
Huh? Sissy, then. What brings you here? It could be dangerous, you know? I stayed at this hotel once, but I forgot something important, so I came back to get it. I see. Did you find it? No, I'm still looking. It's just this little box decorated with rebbies. I'm not leaving until I find it. Well, again, sorry for shouting, but I'll probably uh, be here a while longer, so I could help you find it. Really? That would be great. Okay, please help. Uh, do you have a fa- uh, do you, uh, just do me a favor too, though. If you see a man about my age, would you tell me? Okay. I'll be going then. Um, David, you be careful too. Uh, me asking about that man just got her real frozen up for a minute there. Man, what am I doing shouting at girls? I feel like the shady one here. Yeah, David, you are kind of shady for that, bro. You ran up on a girl playing the piano. It scared me, bro. You scared me, and I knew you were doing it. I mean, come on, man. We got those wire cutters, so you already know I'm finna use them to open this thing because there's wire around the doorknob, and I'm like that. That's right. Let's go see if we can find Sissy's box. Uh, what's in here? This book, knowledge, facts. Uh, let's see, door in room 106, bathroom needs fixing. Okay, uh, there's a key on this page. I got the key to 106. I need to go fix the bathroom key in room 106. Nothing on this doorknob. I hear something. Is somebody locked in there? I should find some way to open it. A trash can full of crumbled paper. Okay. Is somebody locked in that door? It sounded like the sound was just being played in reverse or something. It was weird. Uh, whatever that was. But I wonder who's back there. Or what is back there. Uh, it said room 106. I'm guessing that's over here. Yes, yeah, so this is 101. I'm guessing 106 is in the back. Yes, it is. Uh, this is the, um, this is that bathroom. A doorknob. Oh, yeah, that journal mentioned something about door repairs. Hmm, would it work on that door without a knob? Is it some kind of, uh, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, I'm not fixing this bathroom no more. We finna go use it on that other door because that other door needs fixing as well. Gotta do that instead. Where did that girl go? I wonder if she's just like still around here sprinting somewhere. Let's open this door though. There's nothing in here except an oddly placed tile and a hatch. Interesting. Um, empty trash can, a phone. See this stuff, this oddly placed tile. Yes, it is loose. Stomp on it? I'm gonna do nothing right now because I don't wanna touch that and I don't wanna touch that and get scared or something. Psych! Oh, what happened? It maybe it maybe unlocked this. Now I can go down here. It's a mechanism on the floor. It is a ladder, it goes down. Where else? Maybe I should check this out. David, you're doing too much. This is like this is like horror story 101, bro. Like you don't need to be down here, bro. You just don't need to be down here. I don't understand what you're looking for, David. Honestly, like, yeah, you're doing too much, bro. Yeah, I don't I don't even know where I am, honestly. Like I can't see anything either. Like I don't I don't know how I'm supposed to operate the lighter. Oh, oh, that makes more sense. Oh, I can't operate like this, bro. It's dark down here. Are you okay? Hey, were you locked in here? David, you better get the hell out of here, bro. What the hell, bro? You better get the hell out of here, David. Oh, ew. Look at his neck. Oh, look at his face. Look at his neck. Oh. Hey, stay back. Don't come near me. Yeah, you're gonna get the hell away from me. Oh. Oh, I'm mashing them buttons, boy. Yeah, lock that. Lock that and make sure that doesn't... Lock that and make sure that doesn't happen again. Go step on that tile again. Make sure he stay down there. Please. I must... I, I just be seeing things. I'm just so tired is all. I, I feel sick. Uh, I wonder what Sissy's up to. Did she, did she find what she came for? Yeah, um... I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. That's crazy. That's crazy down there. Whatever that was, that's crazy. That's the crooked man. It's got to be the crooked man. You saw his neck. We all seen his neck. That's the crooked man right there. 
go find Sissy. See what she's up to. Sissy, are you in the bar? Still locked. Lame. Yeah, I don't know where Sissy ended up at, but that man was down there, and no, David was not seeing things. He definitely grabbed my leg. I couldn't have possibly been seeing things. I had to shake him off my leg. David, you're lying to yourself. Just, you're just lying to yourself, David. Oh, shit! Oh, my God. Oh my god, it's the noises that are scaring me more than anything, y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all, it's the noises that are scaring me more than anything in here, bro. Oh my god, yo. Oh my god, sissy. Sissy, where are you? I gotta t I I'm sorry, y'all. I'm about to spaz. If these noises keep up like that, bro, I'm about to spaz for real. Oh, shit. Damn. What happened to you? Listen, I, I went to the window and the floor gave way. What should I do? Uh, jump? Why would you just stand there? I can't possibly jump that far. And the gap is this big. There's no time for pessimism. There's no time for pessimism. It's going to crumble soon. Here, I'll catch you. Yeah, that's crazy. So the floor just fell. That's what that loud ass noise was. Um, I was too close. Are you okay? Are you hurt? Hey, sissy's falling in love with me. Yes. Look at this anime moment right here so scared i was so scared no more i don't like the dark why why do i i it's okay sissy i'm sorry i know you were scared but it's fine now don't cry i'm waiting for my uh, kiss on the cheek because i'm your hero but i didn't get one of those i'm guessing i'm sorry i was scared and confused it's all right i'm glad you're not hurt did you find what you were looking for no, not yet. It wasn't in the room we stayed in. I wonder where it could be. It must be important if you came out by yourself. You could always just give up on it. It's not entirely safe here. I I can't give up on it. I have to find it. What exactly is it? Sorry to ask, but I've been wondering. Was it a present or... It's a present from my boyfriend. It's the most important thing to me after my own life. Ah, uh, I see. Sorry if I was rude. I'll keep looking for it too. You're looking for someone, right? I haven't met anyone yet, but can you tell me more about them? Er, well, I don't know much either. Just that he's a man about my age. Huh? You know, uh, that little about a person you're looking for? You're a strange guy, David. I- I am not. There's just some things I want to ask, but I just don't know- Uh, I just don't know how he looks because, um... Strange, but very kind. I would have been hurt badly if it weren't- if it weren't, uh... <clears throat> I would have been hurt badly if you weren't here. I'm really grateful to you for saving me. I should get going. Take care, David. I'll see you. Well, sissy's got a boyfriend. That's kind of sad, bro. I'm guessing that uh she's not going to be uh she's not going to be um giving me that kiss on the cheek for saving her, you know. I'm not Mario. I don't have those privileges, I guess. But whatever just happened, um that man down there in inside that door down there definitely tried to kill me and uh sissy left and uh i guess i can't find that man so we're gonna keep looking around more whatever weird flex is this bar ever gonna open up for me no there's a keyhole there's all locked every door in here is locked i just don't understand um gotta be something i have now i probably picked something up uh, not much I can use, no, I guess not. The basement door is open. Gasp. The basement door is open. That's not a good thing, yo. That means that homie came out. Oh, he came up and out the ladder. That's not a good thing. That's all I'm saying. Like, all I'm saying is there's no way, bro. He actually left. Um, I thought I locked that place. We didn't lock it. We just left. A lamp with a severed cord. Lamp oil. <clears throat> Full of unused equipment. Okay, so we got guns. I need one of them shits. What is this? There's something here. I got a bronze key. That's cool, I guess. That's cool. That matches my kneecap. That's what's up. Am 
all right so i closed that again facts it was open not sure how that happened but um we got ourselves a bronze key i wonder where this bronze key leads to um there's a few doors i can try you know i'm really fiending for that uh that bar though so let's go try the bar again and see if the bronze key opens the bar it does open the bar that's cool what's this stuff empty beer bottles facts a book more empty beer bottles facts more empty beer bottles or uh a few wine bottles they seem to be full okay facts brandy it's got tons of alcohol in it it might just catch fire if i drank this okay facts so we can use that to start a fire say less say less i guess not let's check out this book a journal seemingly written by a staff member the last page is rambling and sloppy written a toast to our owner who left his employees and fled into the night we'll drink all the beer we've got hell it's only it's the only good thing here being out of a job's no good but at least we don't have to see his mug no more we were so sick of that egghead always trying to flaunt his intelligence. Install weird stuff for the basement door, having a number lock on the food storage, and his silly crap made the place impossible to run. Plus, the passcode was this thing with a book, uh, which he changed up every month. Why the hell? Oh, what the hell would you do that? <laughs> what the hell do you do if you forget? Maybe it's good for him, but sure as hell not us. Ah, uh, whatever. Once we're done with the once we're done with the booze, we're out of here. A toast to our bright futures. So everybody who worked here left after drinking all the beer in here because the owner of the place was a shithead, I'm guessing. Um it was a real big, he was a real big asshole. So uh they all they all drank his beer and left. After he left, I guess. The door to the uh the door to the food storage is on the far end of the first floor, uh right? Uh a passcode on the food is pretty absurd. I would agree. I would definitely agree. Well, let's leave. I'm sliding. I gotta go find that passcode, don't I? I'm definitely sliding. That kind of, he said book. That makes me think library. Let's go back that way. Unless it's that book on the bottom at the very front. Hmm. This book? No. No. G to H. Ain't no books. Oh, here it is. The backboard in the owner's room said, A strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It'd be on the shelf, right? Uh, here we go. Chapter one. Um, damn, do I have to read this shit? Oh my gosh. They skipping a whole bunch of chapters. I'm not reading that shit right now. I'll probably come back and read that later if I get some more downtime or something, but I'm not trying to read that unless I have to. What well, I'm saying, reading is fundamental. Oh, fuck me. Hey, bitch. What are you doing? Hey, get the hell away from me. You gotta go somewhere. Hey, he's gotta go somewhere. Wait a second, it's coming this way. I gotta escape. Oh shit, he's following me. I gotta go. Maybe if I drop down here. What the hell? Oh, so he pushed him. That was random. What is that monster? So what I saw earlier was, I think it actually exists. I just pushed him down those stairs. There's no way it's coming back from that fall. The room under here is locked tight. Uh, I should have warned, I should warn Sissy when I see her. I knew we'd be dangerous. I knew it'd be dangerous for her. Oh gosh. Well, David seems to be a pretty good anime character because he definitely defended, um, he definitely def defended himself from that monster of a man. Uh, I wonder where Sissy is though. That's what we need to find out. Homie's in that room right there actually. Uh, locked, lock ski. Passcode door. Uh, we never found out what the passcode was. We never found out what the passcode was. I don't see no pages. Or anything in here at all. 
Feels bad, man. Homie really got pushed down there. Maybe I will read the book a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. In the month of October 18th, um, I was startled by a crime of the singular ferocity. Okay, so that happened on October 18th. Um, I was born in the year 18 to a large fortune. Okay, I'm not exactly sure, but I'm gonna go try something. Um, there was a date in there and it was October 18th. I'm gonna try using that date as the key, as the password for this uh, this door. If that's not it, I'm at a loss and I'm probably gonna call it for the episode because I have to go get ready to go to class pretty soon here, guys. Uh... Is this it? It is locked still. Yes, that is not it. Um, yeah, not exactly sure where we're supposed to be headed then, guys. Doesn't have a doorknob, it won't open. Oh, maybe it's down in the very bottom. Maybe I have to go down there again. I'm really not trying to go down there again, though, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie with y'all. I'm really not trying to go down in this basement again. That shit is creepy, dude. Shit is really creepy. Like, I don't get it, man. That shit is really creepy. He said, what? Nothing left in there, I hope. Okay, cool. Well, then... I don't know. I don't know. There's, uh, we're missing some pages. Okay. Was there anything under this table? Wait a second. No. Okay. Well, we're missing some pages. We don't know what happened to, uh, our homeboy, the crooked man yet. Uh, he definitely got pushed down those stairs. Not sure where he is. There's nothing down that way. I know there's not. There's really nothing up here either, though. Like, I went up here and they were talking about the passcode. Um,. In here, so we'll probably have to piece that together for the next episode, guys, and we'll figure out even more what's going on. Um, I'm gonna end off in the bar, I guess, because this is a pretty chill spot. Um, we're gonna save the game here. Uh, yeah, with that being said, uh, thank you all for watching, guys. Uh, I'll definitely bring you guys part two if you're interested in seeing more about the crooked man. Uh, with that being said, I'll uh, see you all next time. I'm about to go get ready for class and uh, have a good day. Make sure you're all going to class too, because that's very important, guys. Y'all gotta get them grades. Y'all feel me? You know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta get them grades. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, gotta get right. Go get yourself that degree. But yeah, I'll see y'all later.